Welcome to Path History. Our today's topic is the geological ages and hominid evolution. This earth and its innumerable species are part of an amazing long complex and continuing drama of evolution in which human beings made a very late entry and have so far played a very minor role the earth is about 4.5 billion years old and humans appeared on it only some 2 lakhs years ago in recent years advances in dna analysis have provided important evidence regarding the process of human evolution The foundations of geological and biological evolutionary theories were laid in the 19th century. Charles Robert Darwin's path-breaking book, The Origin of Species, which was published in 1859, explained how new species arose due to adoption and how the process of natural selection led to the survival of the fittest darwin had been deeply influenced by charles leal's principles of geology which was written in between 1830 33 and which explained the past changes in the earth's surface as results of still continuing processes such as wind action erosion earthquakes and volcanic eruptions Thomas Henry Huxley's Evidence as to Man's Place in Nature which was published in 1863 extended Darwin's idea of evolution to human beings The authoritative writings of such scholars ultimately revolutionized prevailing ideas about how and when human beings appeared on the earth evolutionary theory had enormous and unsettling implications and it is not surprising that many 19th century europeans found it difficult to accept it ran counter to the biblical theory of creation just as disconcerting was the fact that evolutionary theory suggested that change in nature was continuing unpredictable and unstoppable the breakthroughs in the natural sciences had an immediate and major impact on prehistoric archaeology stone tools had been found and reported in earlier decades but a theoretical perspective within which such finds could be understood was absent for instance in 1836 a french customs officer named jacques boucher de parthes had discovered flint tools in the shome valley he had argued that such tools in some instances found along with bones of extinct animals were remains of humans who had lived long before the biblical flood his work was greeted by general skepticism until his finds were authenticated many years later by the geologists Hugh Falconer and Joseph Prestwich and the archaeologist John Evans Today geologists divide the history of the earth into four eras or ages related to the evolution of life forms primary or paleozoic secondary or mesozoic tertiary and quaternary the tertiary and quaternary together form the cenozoic or the age of mammals 
which began about 100 million years ago or Mia. The Cenozoic is divided into seven epochs, of which the last two, the Pleistocene and Holocene, are especially important for the story of hominid evolution. The Pleistocene began about 1.6 Mia and the Holocene or recent period in which we live about 10,000 years ago. In biology, evolution refers to the gradual changes in the heritable features of a species population over successive generations due to changes in gene frequencies and the process of natural selection which favors trails that help the species in adapting to the environment. Over time, this process can give rise to a new species. The term species or species and genus are central to discussions of evolution. A species includes organisms that are similar in physical structure and behavior and which interbreed with each other or which could do so if they had access to each other. The genus is an assemblage of related species. Take the following example. The domesticated dog, wolf and jackal all belong to the same genus Canis, which is mentioned first. The second word is the name of the species that represent. There are many differences in skin color, facial features, hair color, body build, height, etc. among modern human beings living in different parts of the world. But we all belong to the same species of anatomically modern humans, Homo sapiens sapiens. Here the second sapiens refers to our subspecies. Homo sapiens is a Latin term meaning thinking man. Paleoanthropologists have used fossil evidence to piece together the fascinating story of the biological and cultural evolution of early humans. It is sometimes difficult to identify a species on the basis of incomplete skeletal material and it is not always clear whether these remains are representative of the entire population of an area. Nevertheless, different stages in the process of human evolution can be identified as can the implications of crucial biological markers such as increase in cranial capacity or brain size, changes in pelvic structure and the beginnings of bipedalism or walking erect on two legs and the modification of dental structure due to changing food habits. Some important aspects of the cultural evolution of early humans include the making of stone tools, the emergence of some kind of social organization, the beginnings of language and the capacity for symbolic thought. The earliest known hominids or man-like species were members of the Australopithecus genus who lived roughly between 4.4 and 1.8 Mia and their remains have so far only been identified in Africa. The earliest of these Ardipithecus or Australopithecus remedus seems to have evolved from some common ancestor 
of the hominid and pointed ape lines in sub-Saharan Africa about 4.4 mea, while the Australopithecines may have used naturally available material as tools. There is no conclusive evidence that they were tool makers. Fossil evidence of the earliest representatives of the genus Homo, Homo habilis or hand using man was found at sites such as Kovifora in Kenya and the Olduvai in Tanzania and is dated about 2 Mia. The earliest stone tools have been found in Hadar in Ethiopia and have been dated about 2.5 Mia. Homo erectus named for his or her fully erect posture appeared in East Africa around 1.7 Mia. From here, the species seems to have spread to various parts of Africa, Asia and Europe. The first Homo sapiens appeared a little less than 5 lakh years ago. From about 1 lakh 30,000 years ago, there is evidence of Homo sapiens Neanderthalis or Neanderthals in various parts of Western and Central Asia and in Europe. Whether the Neanderthals evolved into Homo sapiens or whether they became extinct remains a mystery. Apart from Africa and Europe, hominid remains have also been found in various parts of Asia. Remains of Homo erectus in Java have been dated between 1 to 2 Mia and were associated with animal bones of many species but no stone tools. Remains of Homo erectus discovered in the Jogodian Caves, 50 km southwest of Beijing, are dated between 0.58 to 0.25 Mia. This site also yielded over 20,000 stone tools and bones of 96 mammalian species. Thus, the geologists, anthropologists, and archaeologists are trying to discover the story of evolution. So this is the end of our discussion. Subscribe our YouTube channel, Part History.